What is up guys and welcome back to another raid Show Legends video with me the real deal. So we are going to be putting shards today. We got 25 sacreds uh, as end game free to play. Um, I think raid have been very generous this month because of their fourth year anniversary. They've given us a few extra shards here and there. Um, and I got very lucky this morning as well. Um, Clan boss ultra nightmare dropped me two sacreds as well, which is very, very nice. Um, so champions that I'm after. Mostly in Demon Spawn. Um, Prince Kaimar and Duchess are my most two wanted champions. Um, outside of that, Hepafrek, Candyfron, and Wither would be also very nice. Uh, Demon Spawn has definitely got my most wanted champions in it. Um, but then also in Undead, I'd really like Mashul as well. Um, so good for Hydra, really, really strong champion. Also good for Clan Boss um, if you need that for your team as well. But yeah, he's a solid, solid champion and carry you through a lot of content. Um, but yeah, so just before we do start pulling, I do want to ask if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. So without further ado, let's start pulling some shards. Oh, have we got enough space? No, let's just quickly make some space and we're back. Okay, let's start pulling some shards. So 25, I'd like at least five legendaries. Um, and hopefully one of them is just someone new that we're after. Um, also, you know, who are you guys after? Please drop me a comment below. Let me know. I'd love to know, you know, who you guys want to get your hands on. Okay, two Chonoros. Um, I've not used her. I don't know how good she is, to be honest. Um, not signing my roster. God, this is probably my 20th of law now. Great champion. Um, can use her for so much content. It's all about her A1. Um, basically, she just can, can fully control uh, bosses. And with her A1, just completely dropping their turn meter while your team does loads of work. Great, great champion. Definitely someone worth holding on to. Uh, I've got three now. Oh, she's new. Shurin. I've not got her. What does she do? Okay, so she throws out decrease uh, defense and it's a 80% chance. So it's not 100% chance, but still pretty good. Um, oh, she also plays this weaken as well. And she also throws that poison. So she looks quite average. Um, could be useful to like sort of mid game, I'd say. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, Lissandra. I have wanted this girl for so long. Great champion. You can use her for like Fire Knight. Um, she's also another champion that controls turn meter. Um, and I see her in Arena a lot as well. Great speed lead. Um, I could actually probably use her in my 3v3 teams. Um, so I've already got two Arbiters, so I can make a third speed team. Which is really annoying to go against. Yeah, she's a great champion. Um, very, very, yeah, yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. More, more of that, please. Oh, another new uh, Shadowkin that I don't have. Let's just quickly check out his abilities. Attacks of enemies, decreases the cooldowns of this skill by one turn when under increased attack. Okay. Uh, passive, okay, places increased attack buff on this champion for two turns whenever. And enemy's HP drops below 30. Okay. Attacks one enemy, places block buffs, debuffs for two turns. If this champion is under, increase attack buff, steals all buffs from the enemy before attacking. Okay, so sort of strips. Okay, I would say this guy looks pretty weak to me. Um, single target on those two abilities. Yeah. No, he's not, not looking great to me. I would probably, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest resources into him. Uh, Mr. Nipple Rings himself, Steel Skull. Uh, this guy is pretty, pretty awesome to be honest. Pretty underrated. Um, you can use him in Clan Boss. You can use him in Faction Wars. You can use him in Dungeons, especially up to like level twenty, especially early on. Um, good to like sort of mid, mid to late game. Wouldn't use him end game, but still good like late game. Uh, I've leveled him up. But I've not actually used him yet. He's a hex champion. Don't think he's that good to be honest. Uh, Amina, not used her either. Um, probably not that great. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, Hepafrek. This guy is like top, top tier arena right now. Um, there's, multiple, there's different ways you can build him. Like, I think the best two builds are either Stone Skin or Swift Parry. Um, but yeah, 
hits really hard, has like a really cool, unique passive. So if you wouldn't ever an ally is killed, um, basically procs his um his A2 that basically just hits really hard. It ignores 15% of the target's defense. Um, yeah, just an absolute beast of a champion. This guy is an instant six star for sure. Um, yeah, wow. I was not expecting that. Two two legendaries that I didn't have. Oh my god. But yeah, Pepper Freck. He is like probably top. He's got to be in the top five right now of uh, arena champions. Like even better than Trunda. That is like how good he is. Um, yeah, Skull Crown just right there. Great counter attack champion. I think there's only three champions in the game that can do. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Oh, another Cavalax. Um, this guy is a really cool champion. Um, there is some stuff that I want to do for, with him for um, like um, live arena. So basically, um, he is passive. He will throw out uh, poison debuffs onto the enemy. So I've got a Chad Gore. So what I was thinking is I'm going to use Cavalax to throw out all his poisons onto the enemy team. And then my Chad Gore will CC them with his A1. So his passive was basically... Whenever someone, someone takes a turn with poison on them, he cuts in and puts them to sleep so they miss a turn. Um, so that's a really cool way to counteract Arbiter teams, but also just like other teams as well. So you can sort of really control them as well. So that's another great pull. Cavalax is an awesome champion. Definitely can do some creative, some, uh, some creative stuff with him. Uh, Deacon, Deacon, <laughs> Deacon, and Deacon is a weaker version of Lissandra, but still a really strong champion. I actually use him in my Dark Fade team. Um, so yeah, he's a solid champion. He can do loads of stuff for you. You can still use him like in Classic Arena as well. Push back the turn of the enemy. Uh, Mystery of him, she's just, she's okay. Um, you can use her for like a budget team to complete um, level 21 in Faction Wars. Um, and only get up to level 50 as well. So she's still pretty decent. Not amazing, but I'd say pretty solid. Um, another champion that I've not really needed to use. Not sure, not sure if they're good to be honest, but yeah, hopefully, we get another another legendary. We've got six shards to go. Come on! Oh, this is this is an interesting looking guy. Um, but yeah, come on, one more Lego, one more Lego. Oh, Bushy, do with a bit of a trim. Come on. Okay, so this, this is a, a new epic for me um, from the Sylvan Watchers. Um, I do need to start building up this team because that faction will open up soon. Okay, so he's an increased uh, accuracy champion, um, which isn't... Oh, wait, so it's buff. Uh, he only does it himself, though, so it's not an AoE increased accuracy. So that's not great, to be honest. Um, and he has, like, a 100% chance to put out decreased defense, though, so that's pretty good. Um, Drop, you know, drop AOE, um, drop defense champions are really strong and really valuable. Um, of course, you can still use like War Maiden though. So, you know, mid to early, this guy's probably pretty good, but he will fall off late game. Definitely better options out there. Cornelia, pretty cool champion, pretty unique. Uh, does lots of sleeps. And we've got two shades, two shades, two shards left. Oh, come on, man. Come on. One more. Ah, oh, okay. So we didn't, I mean, I still got uh, a decent amount of legendaries and two unique champions and two, both of them sort of S tier, I would say. So really, really pleased with that. Couldn't ask for much more than that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And also, you know, what content do you guys want to see? I'm thinking about doing some more champion guides. Um, also, I want to try and do some hard dungeon content. But yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see. Please drop a comment below and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace!